Hey everybody, thank you for joining me. So today's video, we're going to do a little technique. I, um, I recently got, <clears throat> excuse me, some black Bristol paper. And most of the time, um, you've all, I've always seen just the white Bristol. So when I saw that they had some in black, I was like, you know, I want to try out this paper. Um, see how it works with the Distress Oxide inks because... I love how it blends on the white Bristol smooth. So it's really thick. I don't know if you can see. It's it's definitely heavy duty. Okay. So I've already been playing off camera. So you can see I got a little bit of color on my stencil there. And I did use a pixie spray on the back. So that way it'll lay and not um, pull up because it's so intricate. Um, but you can even do this with simple uh, stencils if you just want to not have to deal with taping it. Alright, so just making sure everything is down, I'm going to start layering my colors. So the green is Twisted Citron. The blue is going to be Chip Sapphire. And the purple is Wilted Violet. And I'm using my um, blender brushes from Tailored Expression. So I just go by the colors on the handles and I'm going to use my blue with the blues and my green with the greens and, you know, just keep it easy and simple like that. And then same thing with the purple. And then I'm always, I use whatever ink is on the brush to use to help blend out to get a nice transition from color to color and then we're going to clean this up and then there's the color and that what's crazy is that it looks almost like it's a thin um layer of like embossing paste you know what I mean it's it's hard to explain but it was like it felt like it was raised up but it's just ink so <laughs> it was totally smooth and I was treating it like it was a uh an embossing or something you know like glitter paste something like that but I'm just using a baby wipe to clean up my mat, and then I'm using the same uh, baby wipe to clean off the Distress Oxide off of my, uh, my stencil, and I'm going to wipe up again off the mat. And then I'm going to put down one of my cloths, and I'm going to clean again with the um, baby wipe to try and get as much of the color off as possible. And it's still a little tacky on the back. I could probably spray it again next time I use it, and we're just going to keep going. So... When it comes to cleaning your brushes, a lot of people just wipe them off on a cloth and you can test it out, get a piece of paper or something and see if it's uh, wiping clear, then you're good to go. Um, once they're stained, I will say once they're stained, they're stained, they're, you, there's no getting it back to white no matter how much you clean it. Um, but just to make sure, I was like, wait, there's still some color coming off. I was wiping it on the baby wipe here. And, um, so I cleaned on the mat, my, um, f fabric cloth, and then I would also wipe it on the baby wipe, which doesn't get it, like, su um, super wet, but it gets it wet enough to try and help some of the color come off of it. And then I'm just wiping down the mat again, just to make sure. And then we're going to trim our pages down. I wind up doing four of these. And I'm trimming them down to four by five and a quarter. And I already have my card bases folded. They're A2 size cards, so the card itself is four and a quarter by five and a half. So by cutting it down to four... Um, by five and a quarter, it gives it a nice, um, border all around the, the actual page itself. And on this one here, I think this one I did all citrus, uh, twisted citron. So you can do one solid color, either way, blend the colors. I like it both ways. It, it didn't bother me. Um, I will say on this last one I'm going to put together the lighter shades. Um, so like, uh, I think I did Stormy Sky, Bundle Sage, and Milled Lavender. Um, they didn't stand out as much. It's It almost blends to look like uh, one, one solid color. 
because I think they're all just that that light. You can see a little bit of color distinction down at the bottom, but um, it was still fun. I, I think, you know, with the different stencils that you have in your stash, you can do a lot of different things with the Bristol. Um, with the blending, the, you know, using anything. It could be hearts. It could be whatever you have. Just stripes. I think these will make really great masculine cards um, because they're not, like, overly colorful. Um, so I'm just pulling out a few sentiments. Uh adulting is hard friends help sending smiles across the miles um celebrating with you today and then i changed the first one to may all your wishes come true and then i'm just going to use these foam sticky strips also from tailored expression and let me tell you like i got the ones from i think it was Doris. these are super thick the Doris ones are more on the thinner side which is fine um, it gives you a little bit of lift, but these right here, these give you tons of lift um, off of the project. So um, it's definitely, I think it's good quality, you know what I mean? So if you have the opportunity to get you some, definitely do it. I'll try and um, make sure to put a link down at the bottom so that way... Uh, if you guys are interested in the tiny strip or tiny strips in the thin foam strips, uh, you can just click on that link. I don't have any affiliates or anything like that, but you know, you can just use the link. All right. So we're just going to attach this to the bottom of each of the cards. And I always kind of, I don't press it down right away. I place it and I keep moving it until it's in a spot that I'm really happy with. And then I press down because I'm trying to make sure that it's even on both sides and that I have it exactly where I want it before I press down. Because when I don't press down, I'm able to pick it up pretty quick and move it and adjust it until I get it in its correct spot. And there you have it. So we got four cards using the same stencil, different color combos, and it really was a, a really good quality paper. So I'll have that link down below as well. I found that on Amazon. So I will have the link to the Bristol paper and to the uh, foam strips, okay? So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And definitely if you have any comments or you'd like to see um, something else with the Distress Oxides with the Black Bristol paper, just leave a comment down below. And I'll definitely look into, you know, making some videos with those, you know, suggestions in mind. Thanks again, you guys. And I hope you have a great day.